Future, 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 flavors. Check, check, one, two, three. Yo, 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 Pittsburgh, what is the deal? Shout out to the grateful ones at the crib watching, man. It's your boy, Cold Blooded. Live from 11073 Pittsburgh, no more for hip hop. And I got a very special guest in the building. This person has been on scene, killing it for years, doing his thing. Uh, He's one of the honestly, you're one of the most consistent people. Like, like, trying to and, be. and you're really in tune. Like, if I play your song, you say, "Yo, thank you, yo." I just heard it on the radio. My people's call me, woo, 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 woo. or if you, you play this again, you know what I'm saying? How, how do people do that? You know what I'm saying? As far as putting out videos, I definitely want your back up. <laughs> even, even, uh, even just like like represent people. You got two shady merch on. Yeah. Ironically, yeah. two shady and just drop, but uh. No man, you're, you're like 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 I, I rocks with you. Like you're one of the artists that I actually I rock know with. You in the do. Scene. I appreciate it because you keep my shit flowing on the radio, and I appreciate that. Uh, uh, got you, got you. I appreciate. Got you. Keep keep going. It's great. I, all of it. Like keep going. I like that. Get get some, give me some money. That's in my playlist on my phone. <laughs> I say that. And, uh, I respect that because a lot of people don't say that. Yeah. Somebody just. Slick just told me he fuck with that too. He just told me yesterday I, I recorded some shit. He just told me fuck with that. I really don't fuck with that. But that's my we own. Got, we gotta keep cussing to him now. I mean, I'm sorry. It's all good. Keep going. I really, I really don't like that song. But I guess I, I gotta, I gotta, really? I gotta mess with it a little bit more because it's a, it's my most upbeat song. Just like he said, it's my most upbeat song. Yeah. I put it in that little reel I did. I know you. I know. I know. And they they banned my TikTok, but. I definitely was sharing it. Like, For sharing real, they banned it? Banned me. Copyright? No, oh, not. yours. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. You, I you didn't want he was doing y'all's thing on TikTok. Honestly, I want to say I do a lot of stuff with the trans. With the trans, you know, yeah, with, the yeah, trans, yeah. with the trans stuff. So I think people started getting offended. Uh, what they call, I, or say that I was being transphobic, I don't know, and start reporting me. Honestly, I can't tell you, but Hi. I'm coming back with TikTok pretty soon. Hi. So. All right, well, we got Moop Dog in the building. What's up, Moop? <laughs> What's up with you, man? How you feeling today? I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying the weather changed again. You know what I'm saying it's snowing now. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I was upset about that when I woke up. Yeah. Uh, very in the way. How are you? All right, you know, chilling. It's another day. You know what I'm saying you came through. You yeah. know what I'm saying I had a couple of other interviews fall through, but it's all good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying I got I got the good ones today. I got the ones. <laughs> I got the good ones today. You already know. Show up, man. You always show up for me, so I appreciate it. Man, you know, this book since what November? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I reached out what in November, and you was like in March. I'm like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hey. All right, just give it to me, man. Hey, and hey. We here. You know what I'm saying? We both held up a part of the commitment. True, true. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of people can say that. Even not, not with just interviews, just, you know, different realms of life. And yeah, like true. That. But, Definitely. So, you know, uh, for the people that's watching, where are you from originally? From the east side. That's what I claim, the east side. I definitely don't want to go into that because a lot of people like to say a lot of things, but we just want to say the east side. Well, what, what does Mook say? Mook. Mook is Berg. Wilkesburg area, Wallace, 5700. That's where my grandma lived. That's where I grew up. That's where I stayed with my grandma. I did a lot of things with my grandma. My grandma's mm -hmm. still alive, still living over there, feel me? Mm -hmm. I run through there frequently. Did you bounce around at all? Like, is it Wilkinsburg? About, like me, like, I'm from Penn Hills. But no, I used to no, be no, up. No, I used to be up. I used to be, I used to be, I used to be up Penn, East Hills for school a lot. Like, up until, like, no, no, I was no, like. No, no. Eight. See that's the thing. People people would love to say I'm from East Hills too. That that's why I say East Side. I've I've never lived in East Hills. I've always ran around up there. I, you see Wony, that's my brother, my yeah. me and me and my thug love get the picture, but not from East Hills, feel me? That's my mm -hmm. my dogs up there, you know what I'm saying? For getting them with my niggas. Mm -hmm. Not from East Hills. People yeah. would say I'm from Braddock, I got people on that side. My mom's side from what, Duquesne. So you you at Eastside, Mon Valley? Eastside, nah, don't they, I I wouldn't say Mon Valley. You just said Homestead and no, nah, my no nah, nah, not Homestead. My my race, okay. my mom like her her side is from Duquesne, like okay. yeah, like her side is from Duquesne. I wouldn't say Homestead, but my mom and them like they from Duquesne right. area, but I never believe well, was on that side. Good for you for not jacking where your people's is from, but you not from. Yeah, yeah, truth. I never really was over there, so what? 
You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, my cousins was over there and shit. My cousin's still over there and shit, but no. Mm. East side, that's where I was. I was with my like, grandma. Yeah, a lot of people do that. You know what yeah, saying? yeah, a lot of people do do that shit. Like, oh, I'm, from, I'm from here, and it's like, well... Growing up, growing up, I... I, I the grand scheme of things, it does not matter. No, it really don't matter. But, that's what I'm saying. That's why I say East side, because if I wanted to, I could. Yeah. If I wanted to, I could, and then I could stand on it and... It'd it be all right if somebody wants to say what they say about it. Hey, I'ma stand ten toes on how I feel, cause that's how I feel. But no, nah, you know what I'm saying I'ma I'm be real about it. Feel me? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So what was it like for you growing up? It was hard. I mean, my mom died at a young age when I was about 11 years old. She died of cancer, so it was just eye opening. Um, I'm the youngest on my mom's side of four. You got a lot of siblings, right? Like, yeah, on my dad's side, he would like to believe 17. I don't, um, all of them are not his. Some of his stepkids, but I'm the youngest you know, on his side. Yeah. Um, it was just hard. Like, after my mom passed, she was like the glue to the family, so everything fell apart. Uh, I had my own dad, me and my siblings on my mom's side. We don't all have the same dad, feel me? So, after my mom had passed, it really broke away my brother went with his dad and my older two siblings they were old enough to be by themselves and get their own place so I was young as hell and I just went crazy and now that I'm 25 I'm trying to pick up the pieces of my life and really? trying to get things back together like I'm in school I'm yeah. trying to get my own business started Wait, where, where I'm trying to get into for? non-profit where I'm going to CCAC I'm going into my third year for my business associate so yeah, I'm trying to do a lot though, and I want to go into nonprofit, but um, that stems from my dad having a nonprofit organization in Wilkinsburg. But like, my life was just really hard, like, and my mom was the glue to the family. She was the glue, she was the glue, she was the glue. My dad having so many kids, me being the youngest, I want to say I was forgot about, but I wasn't always remembered. You feel me? So. Mm. I made, I made do, I made do, man. And you know, I picked up the pieces. I'm here. Mm-hmm. I don't really like to dwell on this. What I don't really like to stuff. dwell on the stuff. You know, I don't really like to dwell on the stuff. But they like to say I, I put it in my music, and I'm trying to get away from that. So, so y'all putting it in your music. Yeah, cause you know, is that, how, is that what you're supposed to do though? Like, tra- like channel it into. I would say, at a certain point. You would think you think it's overwhelming as of right now with me and my music with the pain on a pain level. Everybody tell me. I mean everybody close to me. But yeah, bro, you need to you need to like do some more beat, buddy. Like, I, so I, I would say I, exactly. I would I would like to hear some more exactly. happy so, type records and I put and, that into my music so much, like it's so overwhelming so I'm trying to just like That's part of your story though. That. Yeah. But I, I could talk about some more stuff. Okay. So, like, yeah. Streets raised me, that's a cool record. I'm saying keep going, it's a good rap. People call me and say, bro, I'm so glad you played that. Like, like that's yeah. one of the ones I can't yeah, wait to hear. Like, yeah. Yeah, see. It resonates. That make me, yeah, for real, that make, that make me feel good. That make me feel good. Because I got people in jail that really call me and tell me to hear. And that, that make me feel good. Because they'll come home from jail, you know what I'm saying, and say, like, oh, yeah, bro, I heard that. And I'll be like, for real? That make me want to keep, you know, <laughs> making stuff so you can throw it on there. But... My life was hard, man, but I, I'm not trying to dwell on it no more. Feel me? Right. That's what's up, though. You know what I'm saying? You, you come into a, a I don't want to say breaking point, a, uh, mm-hmm. what's the word? Breaking through the threshold, let's say right. that. I break through. So, what was we getting into in high school? In high school, uh. Or when we was younger, just like, what, like, what, what, like, what, what was you on? Was you playing sports? Never. <laughs> Never? No, nah, see, look. Was getting into too much. Streets? Streets raise me. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but for real, man, I was getting into too much and I, okay. I'm trying to, you know, get away from that. Basically, in high school, I was saying like junior high, and I was right around the time my mom, you know, mm-hmm. passed away. Everything, man, from robbing, selling drugs, dealing cars. Anything, just running the streets. I didn't have like yeah, no coos. Like I didn't care. 
and I'm st- I, I try I try to get away from that. Like I, I sometimes find myself not caring, and then I gotta like snap myself back into it because we grown now. Like, but yeah, I didn't care, man. I found myself in places I shouldn't have been, in handcuffs plenty of times, with charges like my my rap sheets just crazy and now like I can't get jobs knowing that I got the mind to get it's coming up man it, it really messed me up now man it really mm-hmm. messed me up now and, and for anybody like listening I, I want to tell you and all that all you that can look at him too oh yeah <laughs> I, keep, I, keep, I, keep, I keep it's I'm, all good last time he wasn't recording That's but um good. you feel me don't don't think that everything you listening to about in these rap songs is real, man. They talking about stuff that they used to do. I'm talking about stuff that I used to do. Because I'm not doing this stuff right now. I'm not doing all this stuff that I'm rapping about. I'm not doing none of this stuff right now no more. I'm, it's all the stuff that I used to do, man. Don't let them hype you up. That's all I want to tell y'all. It's real. Because old me, I'm thinking about the listening to the stuff I was listening to. I was That was when Lil Durk was on that uh, side to the streets. Like That's when mm-hmm. all that side to the streets came out and Chief Keith on they was they was turning the streets up like mm-hmm. and we was really on that yeah we was really turned out there and that music just added to it like yeah. to the pills the to the to the alcohol so, so so you would say you're you you recognize your intake definitely like the t- like you recognize like yo the music you listening to in addition to the environment you're in the subject matter and that, oh, that, that going hand in hand. It's like they do that for a reason or something. Like, it's like they do that for a reason. Like all that it it add is like supposed to add together to to make a catastrophe. Like honestly, I don't I don't know. Like you have to get away from that. But definitely, like the music adds to it though. Is it is it difficult like trying to make this transition if, if you haven't already made it? It's it's way too difficult. I find myself. And tear sometimes. I find myself overly frustrated. I'm just trying to, you know, like you said, break through. But it's it's hard, and I'm still fighting court systems, paying fines and giving out money. It's it's just all messed up. It really is to be 25, and you know, still trying to figure out your life when you could just go to school, and they 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 don't help you, you know as much as you would like them to, but they help you enough to point you into a direction, you know, where you can be like, all right, let me do that. Mm-hmm. I never looked in none of those directions. I got expelled from two schools and stuff like that. Like, I never mm-hmm. cared about what none of them, the teachers were saying, nothing like that. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Yeah, man. I, I, I'm not going to say I regret it because it made me the person I am today. Mm-hmm. I don't regret it, but... It, it, it made my life hard. It made my mm. life hard, and you gotta, you know, it's the choices you make. So you know, watch the choices you make. Mm. Definitely. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you said that. A lot of people like when I'm doing these interviews. A lot of people will say, like, yo, like I'm not proud of what I used to do or who I used to be, or what I got going on now, or you know, I kind of regret this, kind of don't regret that. What is it to, what, I mean, what, no, there's not really, yeah, most right. of the situations I've really been in weren't yeah. even situations that I put myself in. I was there. This, been, this came with the game. Exactly. And I wasn't about to, you know, not be the person I'm supposed to be. So I was the person I was supposed to be and that's what it was. But, you know I mean, most of the situations I was in wasn't. I wasn't, you mean, oh yeah, I put myself in the situation. Oh, I'm about to do this, I'm about to do that, we about to do this, I'm about to do that. And so maybe I wanted parts of it for a reason, but it wasn't automatically me being that person setting up this, setting up that. Because if I'm executing something like that, Mm -hmm. it most likely isn't going to go south. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, you know, saying I'm the best person, but if I'm executing something. And this is in regards to planning. Right. And only planning. It's probably not going to go side, most likely. Mm. And in most situations I was in went sour because I wasn't playing. Mm. Uh, well, to like to hear you say that, 
I'm not saying it, it's a powerful it's powerful statements to make because you know like with the music like you said like it seems like it goes hand in hand like some people might think it's the right thing to do even though they might know it's the wrong thing to do or it's kind of all they know mm -hmm. or got in front of them to you yeah. know what I'm saying so to recognize that now versus you know like I know some people that's like 40s 50s they still acting like how they would mm -hmm. when they're younger than us. Yeah, and I, I know. I see what you mean. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, Listen, I mean, I guess it came with the stuff that I've been through. Like, honestly, my new tape coming out. Uh, is it a tape or is it an album? I honestly don't know, but I'll send project. You, yeah, just so I'll say it's a project for right now. I'll send you the cover art though. It's called Mommy's Miracle. I call myself Mommy's Miracle because um, I was born with congenital heart disease when I was probably, what, a year old or something. I've had open heart surgery. I had open heart surgery when I was like eight. Hmm. I, had, I had heart surgery too. I had open heart surgery when I was like 18 or 19. And then I had a couple of heart catheters put in. But my mom always called me her miracle child, feel me? So it goes hand in hand with that. but. Hmm. It's just going to tell a lot of my life story on there, you feel me? And like I said, I'm rapping about a lot of stuff that I did. Not that I'm doing, but a lot of stuff that I did. And and, and you know, you got to change the way you look at things so the things you look at can change. My dad told me this all the time coming up. Like, you know what I'm saying? My dad wasn't always there. He was always a busy body dude moving around and stuff like. But, he, but the stuff that I did catch on to was that and you gotta change the way you look at things but the things you look at to change so y'all remember that feel me because it's okay to change and a lot of people that I be around and a lot of people that I used to be around anyway used to act like why you being like that why you being like that like I'm acting like a weirdo cause I'm trying to change and not be the same person I used to be like you gonna get killed out here keep acting like that you're, you're gonna be in jail somewhere come on man we got all these gun charges, all these, or whatever, you gotta move differently. You gotta move like we grown now. Move like that judge won't sit you down for some years now. That judge won't sit you down for way longer than you think, or you just won't be put up for life, feel me? It's over, you know what I'm saying? Take you off the game type. But people don't be thinking like that, so I really had to remove myself, and this mommy's miracle is really going, you know, it's gonna showcase a lot of that. I don't know how many tracks it got, but, be on the lookout. Yeah, be on the lookout for that, child, for real. All right, Mook, so you are part of the transgender community? Definitely. What was it like when you made you made the final decision, like, all right, this is what I'm going to do? I remember, like, you came in to the Whammo auditions, and that's what you led with. Like, that's how you started. Like, I'm Mook. I'm in the process of becoming trans. I'm doing this, 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 this. Even yeah. some people I knew around you, like, they would be like, yeah, like, like you know. Like he's doing the whole process. Yeah. I mean, when I first thought about it, I didn't even know you could do it. I didn't know you could do it, man. Um, I heard about it. I didn't know it was like maybe, I honestly didn't know it was possible in Pittsburgh. Let's say that. Like, I heard mm. about it. Okay. Like, and then a lot of people in the LGBT community pointed me in the direction. Mm -hmm. So um, I go down to Central Outreach, you know. Shout out to uh, Dr. Stacy Lane down there. That's who helps me. Um, she gives me my testosterone shots. It it wasn't it wasn't really the the first thing I thought about. How, how do I? How, let me see. How do I think about this? When I first transitioned, I don't know. I don't think. I don't think about that in a minute. It so long ago. I, it was something I didn't think I could do, like, and then when I found out I could do it, man, I was just like, oh yeah, sign me up. Mm -hmm. Where do I go? Like, where where do I go? Is and it really, no, honestly, it was so, I really wanted to do it so I could stop my periods. You no know, females having periods, yeah, yeah, I yeah. didn't want to have a period. Like, that was the first thing. I'm like, all right. Does it really stop it? I haven't had a period in like five years. Really? Or four years. That's, like four that's, years. That's, I didn't know it, you know, I don't know the process. <laughs> I, 
for me, obviously. But um, so yeah, like it stops your periods, uh, makes you a man. I mean, I got hair places. Yeah. I don't. I wouldn't have hair. You have hair places. You got hair like everywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm turning into a nigga like you. So, what's what like? What are the people around you? Like, how are they responding to it, or how were they? Because I, I, how how many years are you in the process? <sighs> what? How, how, and twenty twenty two. But I'm in my fourth year. All right, so you're four years in. How long does it take? To, is there a certain time where it's no. like, all right, fully, like, that's <laughs> no, it? It's just like you. You got to literally take a yeah, shot in yeah, your leg every you gotta rest of your life. You got to maintain it. Yeah. How often do you got to get the shot? Weekly. Ooh. You got. I shoot myself in my leg weekly. Ooh, like an EpiPen. Yeah, basically. Right. Um, And it depends. Like, it depends on your blood testosterone level and your blood estrogen level. So they, like, take your blood and then they tell you everything and then they tell you what to do if you can't give yourself the shot in the leg then they obviously will give it to you but i've you can't take like like a pill or like because you know that's painful you know what i'm saying like yeah, i got right, tattoos right. you got right. tattoos but yeah. nobody wants to like get vaccines honestly when you give it to yourself it doesn't hurt that much and i learned that and i've been doing it for yeah four years and i just now thinking about that so i guess it doesn't hurt anymore hmm it doesn't hurt that bad. It's an intramuscular shot, so it's like if you could, if they would do it in your butt cheek or something, it wouldn't hurt because it'd be real fast and it's a tiny needle. Mm. So yeah, it really doesn't hurt that bad. Mm. So like, what, what's your people saying? Oh yeah, that? you said that. Um, everybody around me is there. There's really not much they can say because I've been the same person. Only thing they see changing is my features. I literally am the same exact mm -hmm. person. Nothing really changed about me. Not none of my mannerisms, none of the, none of the way I like talk, my voice obviously, but yeah. like nothing, man. Yeah. So I was telling uh, to some people I was interviewing pro today, prior mm -hmm. before interviewing you. Right. They might ask, "Yo, who do you have coming up next?" I'm like, "Yo, I got Mook. This is what's going on with Mook." But Mook's like, even if you didn't do that, it would be the same. Thing. Like I feel like everyone still looks at you. Me personally, like I still look at you the same way. Like right, right now, right. the exact same way before. That's why everybody sees like, me. It, and that's it just, wasn't that's like how a, it's real. Like so, it's, that's that's how I look at it. That's just how it's real. Everybody around me, with there, it's it's hard. Like my dad, he's getting used to saying son and, and mm. stuff like that. My siblings um, are getting used to saying bro. Mm. And my friends are getting used to saying you know he, but you know get drunk, get high. She, girl, what? Mm -hmm. uh, come on. Well, y'all forgot? <laughs> yeah. Like, but, <laughs> we growing know, here. <laughs> <laughs> for real, but uh, yeah, everybody, you know, they show love. The people who feel like it's weird or say little, say their little smart stuff, you know, on their statuses or, you know, say their little stuff on their stories and stuff about the transgender community that I see that is not directly towards me, I see it, and then I, you know, act accordingly. Everybody else, just all love. Man, when I, when I saw you, that one picture you had with, like, the joint over your shoulder, and you had the beater oh, on, yeah, I was, like, yeah, oh, yeah, my, I was like, oh my, I was like, oh my God, like, this, <laughs> like, 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 like that really pulled it too. off. That's mine, too. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, I was like, man, like, still, even if you didn't do that, like, it would still be, it will still be the exact same thing. But I was looking on my flag, like even old pictures of me, like I can go back further, further, further out, man. Mm -hmm. Is there a stigma about transgenders amongst the black community, or in the music industry, like local music industry? Like, do people like since you've done this, do people like feel weird when it comes to working with you or collaborating with you? No. Honestly, I feel like. I feel like they need to have a stigma. I feel like, look at me how you look at that trans man that you keep calling a tranny. Cause why do you? Why don't you look at me like that? Why are we having this conversation and you're referring to him as a tranny, but you're talking to me like, no, nah, bro, you cool. No, I'm not. Cause I'm just like him. Don't don't disrespect me, and don't disrespect him. Hmm. Feel me? Hmm. Like, and it's it's. I don't understand that. I don't understand. Because I, even people around me, I'll tell them that. They'll be like, "What you mean? What you mean, bro? You're cool. What you mean you're cool? I don't fuck with. I don't fuck with that. 
you don't fuck with that because he was born a man and he likes to dress like a woman and likes to be referred to as a woman. And then there's some men who just like to dress like women. Yeah. Let people live. You let me live just because I'm cool and I just be chilling. They could be cool too. How you feel about what's going on in the sports world right now? Listen. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I got some people that like to say stuff on the internet. And y'all know who y'all are about what's going on in the sports world, you know. Listen, if you feel like... I'm going to speak personally. I feel like uh, he shouldn't be playing for the women. But even though he wants to be trans, you know. I feel like mm -hmm. that's not fair, period. It's not fair. But about everybody who's feeling like they should say something about transgender and feel like they have something to say about transgender now and feeling like transgender is a is a is a thing now and it's it's something that everybody wants to do and blah 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 why don't y'all just mind y'all business because ain't nobody say nothing when y'all wanted to be gay and it was something that y'all wanted to do and be bisexual and blah 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 when y'all was coming up back in 1990 whatever y'all was Listen, y'all just mind mind y'all business and let it be what it is today. Feel me? Let everybody live just how y'all got to live back then. And let everybody be themselves. So I'm going to just leave it there. Cut. Yeah. Why keep sliding back? Because, man, comfortable. You know what I'm saying? It's the future flavor show. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gets comfortable here. You know what I'm saying? Somebody up here cry earlier. That's my cry on my other show. You know what I'm saying? People will be all happy and sweaty and shaking and yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> come, come by, man. DJ Cold Butter, man. Real man, right here, man. It's a cool time. You know what I'm saying? So what? Uh, what's twenty twenty two look like for you? Bigger and better. In what aspects? Every aspect. Um, I plan on moving. Yeah. Uh, yeah, moving out the place I'm in. And a lot more music. I already told y'all about my tape, mm -hmm. my project, should I say? Right yeah, now, yeah, that's mommy's that's, miracle. Yeah, yeah, mommy's miracle. That is like my focus right now. Like I said, I was at the studio last night, so 2022. Mm -hmm. Right now, beginning of 2022. Y'all worry about that, mommy's miracle. Mm. Do Do you think? Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not just gonna ask you. I think that music <laughs> is missing a lot of like tangible things. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of yeah. people don't have other things that go with their album. Like you get a CD, it comes with a poster, yeah, and maybe something else. Mm -hmm. Or you get like the package, you get the hoodie, the poster, the CD, okay. the whatever. Or a lot of artists they'll put a short film with it and upload it too. Like wins and losses, Meek Mill, that got a short film. Yeah. YG, you got a short film. And Kendrick, Boogie, a couple people. I think that'd be cool if you did that, cause a other, short film. Yeah. Cause the other thing is, no one here did it. Say that. Nobody here has done it. People have done documentaries to go with their project, but they never did a short film. To my knowledge, I don't. Remember seeing like a Mac Miller short film, a Wiz short film, a Fed short film, Harlow short film, any of that? Say less. I, I've seen I, I movies. Got, I got I got something movies. in mind too. I don't even want to say it, but I got something something in mind for the Mommy's Miracle thing because I got a lot of um, content like pictures, and videos from mm -hmm. my surgeries. So yeah. I'm saying that's that's. You got, you got, all right, so you got that right there. You probably got pictures of when you was young. Mm -hmm. You could probably reenact certain scenarios this, in the songs. Song. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah, definitely, maybe, because one of my surgeries were, it wasn't like something. It was a, um, what? It was emergency surgery because I had gotten a car accident in one of the um, stents that they put in my heart. It, like, punctured a valve in my heart Ooh. and I had uh, endocarditis, infection of the blood. So they had to do emergency surgery. So it's like they took me to Children's Hospital, they ran some tests and then instantly all these doctors start coming in and it's like everything's just, I went there and told them I'm sleepy, I'm tired, I just keep sleeping and I'm tired. Like, 
but I'm dying. Basically. You know what I'm saying? You kind of die. Basically, like, feel me? And I'm like 18 years old. And they're like, all right, we're about to do this test. We're about to take your blood. And then they come in, and all these doctors is like rushing to do all this stuff. They give me this medicine. My sisters and my, my pops come in, and they're like, all right, I love you. I love you. Instantly, I'm asleep. And then I wake up, and they done cut me open, literally, like a whole open heart surgery, everything. You was awake during it? No, no. Like, they, it was a real open heart surgery. I'm saying, like, yeah, you I just woke up after and was like, leave. ah. I'm like, all this happened so fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, but I, that's something I could reenact, though, because it was, that was, that was crazy. That's but wild. that could be a short film, though. Yeah, yeah, that was like a remember. movie. Yeah. Remember we had, well, I don't remember, but me and my twin, we had heart surgery when we was born. Oh. And we got, I forget what it was, but it was like, Underdeveloped hearts, we was like three months early, so okay. they said something like, oh, like there's a hole or something, and they had to sew it up. But like, we yeah. got these scars like halfway across our back that I completely forget about all the time. That's so, cool. like, so, like, let's say, like, you know, like it's time to be nice or something, like, oh my gosh, like, <laughs> like what happened to you? <laughs> like, uh, I, 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 I fought, a, fought a shark or something. Hey, yo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but it's by a wolf. But yeah, that, uh, he said, attacked by a wolf. Yeah, you know, heart surgery is no joke, man. Yeah, when I um, when I was younger, I used to say I got stabbed in my chest. No, because it's so, it's it's like, like, being young and having this scar on your chest, it's like weird and it's not yeah. cool. Kids are cruel. Yeah. What is that? What happened to you? Yeah. And like, yeah. you come up with stuff, man. It, that's what I came up with. Yeah, time and time again, I probably came up with different things after a while. I swear, I forgot about it so much. I remember going to college, had my shirt off, we was playing volleyball, and then I like ran over. There was like a group of people, but the ball went over there, so I ran over there, and it turned. Eh. I've seen that before, not that picture, but like that type of message. Mm -hmm. Girl, yeah. Or even some people, like this one girl, she had like a big keloid. Like, Ugh, see, and that's the, I'm so blessed that mine isn't like that because I've been what cut it to twice. So like you know they cut over mine, so mm -hmm. and they could have done that, you know. But I'm glad mine didn't. I had a good um, plastic surgeon. Hey man, well I don't like hospitals or needles or fluids and shit like that. So um, before we get up out of here, man, where can the people follow you? <laughs> where can they tune in? Well, y'all can tune in at YouTube at Moog Dog M O Double. Well, let me get it again. Let me get it. They can tune in at M Double O K D A W G YouTube. Um, Instagram, Money Moot Dog, M O N E Y M W O K D A W G. My TikTok is going to be back soon. Just follow me on Instagram for now. My direct me is in my bio. That's like my website, and you can find everything, all my videos, um, my songs, anywhere you want to find my music, pictures, portraits. I even do stuff like uh, some type of graphic design. Uh, for myself, like, I, what is it called? Um, <sighs> promotion, self promotion. I do cut that out, though. Cut that out at the end. Okay. The uh, the little spacing. But I do self promotion. Um, what's it called? What you mean, self promotion? Uh, hold on. It's my, it's my other Instagram. Personal promotion. Personal promotion at Moot Dog Media. Personal promotion, like I can make you cover art, I can edit your YouTube videos, I can edit your any videos for uh, just for personal promotion. It doesn't even matter for your business, for your YouTube, for your Facebook, for your Instagram. Moot Dog Media. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Mook. And I got, uh, y'all should be looking out for Punish by Mook Dog. It's my next video coming. I'm going to let you hear it, too. All right, you know, Appreciate it, man. Uh, anytime, anytime.